I bet you there's there's a few North Carolina fans I wish they were having some some tech stuff when UNC was playing UVA. Like, oh, the cable's out. Oh, I can't watch. I guess I have to go, you know, enjoy the the nice weather outside. Oh, the 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 tech stuff isn't working. The the audio isn't working, so I can't hear the descriptions of what I'm watching. Uh, that's the worst loss I've seen in in some time since the Georgia Tech loss last last year. <laughs> It's, it, you know, well, even so, right? Because this is Drake May a year older, right? This is a North Carolina team that should have learned from that loss. The University of North Carolina got beat by the University of Virginia, and the closer and closer and closer you zoom in on it, the worse and worse and worse it gets. Let's hear from the head coach, Mac Brown, on the disappointments coming from that loss. I'm disappointed in a lot of stuff. I got a, I got a list. Um, but I'm, I'm also uh, excited that they, they stopped two touchdowns from happening that gave us a chance to win. So that's what you got to do. You got to, everybody does something good. And usually in games, there's always stuff that's bad that you've got to fix. And when you win, people don't notice it and they let it go. If you lose, people are looking for every little thing that would have made a difference. And that, that's why you, you over criticize on losing and you celebrate on winning. Uh, that's, that's why I have to look at it like we lost every game. Okay, you don't have to pretend that you lost this one, right? You don't have to look at it like you lost every game. No, this one, you lost. That should have been a game you used to boost stats. I mean, I feel like we need to go back and delete our YouTube video that we posted on Friday when I titled it Expect the Fireworks from UNC's offense this weekend. No, I actually think the the opposite needs to happen. We need to show North Carolina that that YouTube video and say this is what it should have been. Virginia had beaten exactly one team coming into that game, and it was an FCS opponent in William and Mary, and they beat them by just fourteen points. They beat the number ten team in the country. There are little th- little things to nitpick, right? The play calling in some respects, uh, Omari and Hampton wasn't given the ball enough once it obviously became a game, right? Once it became, oh, UVA isn't going anywhere. We didn't show up and blow them out of the water. We're a little slow, uh, especially in that the, the second half. They should have given the ball to Omari and Hampton more. He is one of the best running backs in, in, in the ACC. They chose not to do that. The defense should have been able to play bigger in the front seven to bottle up UVA specifically in the red zone, right? The, the the getting pushed around element up front, not going to get it done. Tez Walker had another big day, but Drake May, again, completed 50% of his passes. Again, these are nitpicky things, but you could point to them as, hey, this is a reason why, this is a reason why. The, talking about all those little details is letting UNC off the hook because it's it's not that. Right? Yeah, I mean, kind of, but it's not. You should have been up by 25 points. You should have been up by 25 points. Right? Is it, oh, the play calling wasn't great? The play calling shouldn't have mattered, right? Oh, you know, you should be able, like, you should be able to choose your own adventure through that game. Uh, you know, here I want to run the ball more. Here I want to pass the ball more. Here I want to go to Tez. Here I don't want to go to Tez. Here I want to complete a bunch of passes. Here I want to take some shots downfield. You should be able to to pick and choose your way through that game and win by a bunch. You weren't ready to play. It, it took you too long to, took them seri- to take them seriously. Excuse me. Uh, that is the issue. That is the issue. Like I, I know from an internal perspective, you have to watch the tape, you have to learn from it, and you have to try to fix it. But but to me, that game wasn't about the things you're going to fix in practice. Right? They're going to sit on. They, they probably already have Sunday, but definitely Monday. They're going to they're going to sit and watch film, and they're going to have things to correct on each play. Right? Like oh. Uh, you know, probably could have put a more accurate ball here. Oh, probably could have picked up the blitz better here. On defense, oh, we could have had a better run run fit. Right, All these little minutia that, that you know, football coaches would understand, but the, the layman fam might not. And, and it's irrelevant because everybody watching that game knows what the problem was. You didn't show up. And then you got kicked in the teeth early by UVA, right? We all had, I'm sure, 
anyone that was watching, and I, I, Graham, were you at the game? Yes. Okay, so Graham was at the game, so he's focused on it. But if you're like me on a Saturday, most of the time I'm, I'm clicking through, right? I have the multi-view up. I've, I've got stats up on my computer. I'm flipping through, making sure I catch every game. Obviously, the Duke-Florida State game was going on at a similar time. Uh, we all had that moment where you see the the – the close score, like, you know, second quarter between UVA and UNC. And what did you think? Oh, wow. <laughs> UNC is going to have to wake up. Right? Oh, look at this. UVA sticking with them. Oh, this is actually this is going to be a good loss for UVA. They're going to learn some things. UNC never woke up. Right? They never had that moment where they're like, all right, I guess, I guess we're going to have to try for this one. They never had that moment. That's what this is about. You know, I talk about this often as, like, uh, actually, we'll use the the end of uh, the Adam Gold show, right? I was just talking to Adam during the commercial break as we switched studios. He he was he was educating me on the, the cricket stuff that, that he was talking about. Yeah, cricket. He was, you know, hey, well, I think it was uh, India-Pakistan or something was, was the, the biggest rivalry in cricket. Here's what I want to do. I want to get a cricket fan that knows as much about football as I know about cricket, which means nothing, and have them go watch the UVA-North Carolina game, right? Somebody that, that might as well be an alien dropped on the planet experiencing American football for the first time, and I want to ask them what the issue was. All right, you just watch the game. What was the problem there? They'd probably say, oh, that team cared about it way more than that team. Oh, that team had more energy than that team, right? UVA, is that is that UVA, that team, right? Okay, UVA had it, the one that's not wearing the – the that what's that Carolina blue? Uh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, that team was just they they were into it. They looked like they had more on the line. When in actuality, they had so much less on the line. UVA has won one game before beating North Carolina, and it was against William and Mary, which means a win just makes them a little less uh, embarrassed. UNC, meanwhile, was playing with the knowledge that if they take care of business in the games they're supposed to take care of business in, with a schedule that is favorable, they go to the college football playoff. You can kiss that goodbye. I mean, you need so much help elsewhere, it's crazy now. Not to mention the fact that you'd have to fix all of the things that just popped up against against Virginia. Here's Mac Brown on what was happening with the offense specifically for UNC. I don't know. I've never seen us drop balls like that, and we did. So protection was pretty good. We ran it okay, but we didn't have it much. That's the other thing. They had it uh, 37 minutes, and we had it 23. So they ended up running 84 plays to our 77. So, uh, But if you don't stop the run, and we didn't stop the run on defense, then that's going to happen. Well, you do realize why they had the ball more than you. Because you dropped the passes. Because you didn't complete the passes. If you complete them, you get first downs, you keep the ball, that doesn't happen. It, like That's such circle logic. Right? Oh, you know, the offense didn't work. Uh, we dropped some passes, but they had the ball more often than we did. So, like almost like a justification. But, uh, you know, so the offense couldn't really stay. It's it's It could work in reverse, too. You dropped the passes so you didn't have the ball as often. And, and 77 to 84, that's not a huge gap. It's also evident that Virginia showed up to play in North Carolina just straight up didn't. I think that was very true. One of Virginia's first two opening possessions, they converted for it on fourth down, and it led to two touchdowns. Mm-hmm. And when you're Virginia, I always make this joke around this time that it's a time in the football season when teams that aren't going to win their bowl games win their bowl games. And Matt Brown talked about it today in his press conference. You can't give a team like that any sort of momentum. And, and you know, it, it – <laughs> The problem I had with it is they they never woke up. I I've, I talked about this. This was actually my concern uh, every uh, whatever it is Wednesday uh, on the drive with Tim Donnelly. We do cons and cons, concerns and confidence for the the four teams in the ACC from the state of North Carolina. My concern for UNC was overconfidence. I thought these next three games, including the the UVA game, if you look at their schedule, the three games beginning with with Virginia. Looked like games that you could easily look at and go, oh, we are the cat's meow. Now, I thought towards the end of that three-game run is when you'd have to worry about it, right? I thought they would smash UVA. I thought they would they would really get their, their gears rolling. Everybody would be telling them how awesome they are. They'd be a top-10 team in the country. And, and just it happened earlier than I thought. 
If anything else, I would have been more surprised, or I wouldn't have been more surprised if Carolina lost this week against Georgia Tech and had handled their business against Virginia. Because at least with Georgia Tech, that's a team that Matt Brown's two and three against <laughs> since his return to North Carolina. Also, North Carolina is ten and twelve, or has lost ten of the last twelve in Atlanta when mm-hmm. playing Georgia Tech. So the ATL is not a friendly place to Carolina. So I would have believed that loss more than I would have believed. This past this one this past weekend, it, all good points. I I also just think it's so much you know to use the coaching cliche, uh, like Carolina should believe it's about us, not them, when they're up against these teams. It, it, you know whether it's whether it's Georgia Tech, whether it's it's UVA, Campbell, who's coming up after that, and not putting them all in the exact same category, but UNC is a level above them in talent. It's it, it sh- it, you should take care of your business. You should take care of your business. 